showing you some of my skincare routine. So recently I tried out a new brand called Dr. Botanicals. Uh, they kindly sent over some of these bits but none of this is paid. It's all of my own opinion on these products. But I thought I would show you sort of my experience with these products. So I've been using these products now for about a week or two maybe probably. Um, so I'm still early days with these products but I've recently been kind of introducing them into my skincare routine. They sent me over seven of their products, two of which are their new products. They sent me over their apothecary rain. I don't know if I've pronounced that correctly. Um, but they asked me if they would send me over a few of their new products that they recently launched and a couple of other ones that I could pick out as well for you. So the whole collection as with Dr. Chronicles is very vegan friendly and also really natural. So if you're looking for more kind of like a natural based skincare brand, these are definitely a great option. So the first product that they've um, recently just launched is their new lemon superfood all-in-one body butter. Um, so this can be used as like a moisturiser for like dry skin. Um, it also can be used as a kind of base for under your makeup or like a moisturiser for your makeup or even like a cleanse. I personally, I'm just going to use it as kind of like over the chest. So I'm just going to start out by tying all of my hair up. So I'm just going to apply a bit of this over my chest, just to see. I have got a really horrible spot on my chest at the moment, so it's just so smooth. I also really love the smell of it and as it said it's vegan, cruelty free and 96% natural as well. So the second product that is actually launching on the 30th of June is their new facial mask which is the Cocoa and Coconut Superfood Reviving Hydrating Mask. Um, so this one says smooth onto the skin, cleansing, toning and exfoliating, leave in 5 to 10 minutes and wash off. It's kind of basically like any other facial mask you might use. And they also sent me over their charcoal superfood mattifying face mask as well. So I'm going to use these after I've cleansed and it's toned and exfoliated. Um, I'm going to use these as well. So I'm probably going to apply this this charcoal one over my nose and probably over where I've got a few breakouts at the moment. Um, because I know charcoal is good for kind of breakouts and blackheads and oiliness. So I might probably put that on most of my T-zone. And then I really suffer with quite dry cheeks at the moment. Um, so I'm going to probably pop this one on my cheeks. So I've just cleansed and toned my skin with my Balancing Line Blossom Cleanser and also the Balancing Lavender Toner. So I just use these kind of regularly um, or when I sort of feel like my skin needs a bit of a pick me up. So that, I'm now going to go on to using a product from uh, Dr. Botanicals, which is their new, which is one of their products from, again, their apothecary range, which is the Coffee Superfood Renewing Facial Exfoliator. Um, so this one says, gently moisturize into wet skin after cleansing, rinse off with warm water. Um, so obviously I have already cleansed and toned. So I've just dampened my skin, so I'm going to apply some of this. So it's coming out in kind of like a, I don't know how to explain that at all. It feels quite creamy. And then it's got all the little coffee granules in there as well. Mmm, this smells amazing. So I'm going to really focus it around my nose. So I get a lot of black hoods around there. And kind of the areas that I like more like to focus on more than others, which is definitely more of my T zone. So what I would say is I think because it comes out quite creamy, it feels a lot more gentle in the skin. So if you get any sensitivity like me, I think this is a great one. As you can see, it's kind of like just got the little granules of the exfoliant in there. It's kind of like orangey in colour. I mean, my camera's picking this up a lot more saturated. So it's definitely very easy to remove, and as you can see, it's not maybe red in any areas at all. Normally, some exfoliators can be really reactive on my skin with the sensitivity, but this is really nice, and I feel like my skin's looking quite glowy after that. Facial mask, as I said, I'm going to apply both of these facial masks together. I have tried the new one that they've just brought out, which is the coconut, Cocoa and Coconut Superfood Reviving Mask. But I'm going to apply this one to kind of my nose area, and as I said, like sort of over my T-zone and where I've got a few breakouts. I find this to be really good, again, for sensitive skins. I use this on myself, and I have probably one of the most sensitive skins. I just react to everything that gets on my face so it's a 
this is good for me i think it's good for anyone really if you've got dry skin sensitive skin even if you've got oily skin because i've i've got quite oily skin and i find even on those wintry days sometimes my skin just feels really dry in areas or like random days and then my nose is really dry which is really random because my nose is like my most oiliest part of my skin so it just applies on quite nicely i just apply it on my finger if you can apply it with a brush or anything it doesn't really matter i'm going to apply the charcoal one over my nose this is a lot more i'd say it's probably a bit more thicker in consistency but it's still not overly too thick oh i can already feel that working on my chin so both those facial masks they leave on for about five to ten minutes so i'm going to kind of leave it somewhere in the middle i think last time i left this the cocoa one for about five minutes and i already saw quite quick results so i think i'm gonna leave this on for just over five minutes and i'll be back so i've just removed both those facial masks my skin's feeling really, really creamy and even on the areas where i applied the mattifying one it's not feeling like tight in any areas because i find sometimes when you use mattifying products my skin can feel quite tight but it's still feeling nice and creamy so the last two products i'm going to apply to my skin are going to be the hemp infused natural nutrition moisturizer the hemp biovitality nutrition oil so it says to pop the oil uh, two to three drops of the oil to cleanse skin in the evening and in the morning continue with moisturizer if needed um so what i'm going to do is i just normally use these two together as kind of like a whole treatment so i like this oil it's not too thick so when you apply it, it doesn't feel like your skin just feels like completely smothered. It just glows, makes the skin look really lovely and glowy. And it's just a nice base. I personally would wear, use this on its own if I was to have like a no makeup day. So just a small amount is needed of the moisturiser if you're going to apply even on its own or over the top of the high oil. I would definitely recommend just a small amount. And as you can see... My skin just looks so much more glowy. So the only products I've got left to show you is this, which is the Cocoa and Coconut Super Hydrating Body Lotion. This is quite a weird shot, but I'm just going to show you sort of the consistency. So it blends really nicely. I have used this product before. I used this just after the shower. And I don't find it to be too sticky because I find some lotions can be quite sticky on the skin. So if you, I hope you enjoyed today's video and we've gave you insight into some new skincare products you might want to purchase. So I am going to try and start uploading again a lot more. I just feel like the past two years I've just been so bad at YouTube and I just can't find the motivation. But I hopefully... I've got a, co a couple ideas coming so hopefully I can start getting back into it. I'm going away quite a I'm going away on holiday a couple of times this year, so I'm going to definitely get some travel vlogs up for you as well. And I will just see you in my next video. Bye!